Ah, fuck it. All right. Hi, guys. All right. Hang on. Hi, hi, hi. I have to get myself up. Hold on. I'm trying to get this chick's channel up, but I have to get myself up. Hi. Channel. It's not a channel. It's a shop. Okay. <sighs> How is everyone tonight? Mute. Okay. Perfect. Hi, hi, hi. All right. I need a drink. Hi. Hi, Dana. I forgot to text you. I was going to text you and tell you I was going live, so I'm glad you're here. Hi. All right. Steven, hello. Barb, hi. Estelle, Dragon Wings, hello. Welcome. Hi, Jackie. Donna and Paperback and Madana and Sherry Bug. Book Lioness, Long Hair, Skinny Eye Toe, my favorite. It's so weird like me. I just have to love that name. Um, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Jen, I sent that deck yesterday. Ah, oh, yay, Sherry Bug. Thank you. Um, so I was saying on uh, admin chat, we were talking on admin chat not too long ago, and I was like, Shit, you know, I have like four or five unboxings that I need to do, so I really need to come on and at least do one. And, um, of course, this is so bad, but the one I want to do is the one I got in tonight, yesterday, today, during the day, <laughs> um, which I have to blame Simon completely, as usual, <laughs> because um, he, it's, it's all, it's all his fault. He is my, for me. He's like the worst enabler person. He's he's terrible. Every time he like really loves a deck, I'm like, oh, I really like that. All right, I think maybe I'm going to have to. I, I think him out of anyone else has probably made me buy more decks than anybody else. <laughs> just, just saying. He's terrible for me anyways. Because my admins were like, uh, pot calling the kettle black, Jen? Like, yeah, but I don't enable myself. <laughs> he enables me. Uh, hi, Johnny Dragon. Hello, Hedgy. How you doing, Trevor? It's never mama's fault when she opens a deck. Exactly. It's not my fault. Um, I have been uh, working on this room all day. See, I don't think it looks a whole lot better. My... Lying, loveling, I mean, they do it out of love, I know. But my squirrel admins were like, oh, that looks a lot better. <sighs> you can't really tell because there's still all this pile here. I want to bring that over. Anyways, who makes you do all the Kickstarter decks? Shh, quiet, Steven. You're an admin. That means you keep my secrets. <laughs> Anyways, I've been working on it all day, I have to say. I don't hear my husband. Peter and I got into it when I got off of our live last night because I dared to do a video downstairs, which I shouldn't say that because it, then it sounds like, you know, we fight all the time, which we don't. Um, but I was like, I don't have any place to do my videos because the upstairs is such a hellhole. I've been asking you for help. Well, we didn't talk about it. And he got up this morning and he's like, here, here's your favorite tea and wake up a little bit and then we'll go up and start that room. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Because he does the like cleaning part and then I am so ADD. I organize, like it takes me six hours to organize my tarot shelves. <laughs> he like figures out what to do with half of the crap that's in here <laughs> and I super organize one shelf. <laughs> oh, well. 
Anyways, love that background. See, I know I, that's my wheel of the year, which I love too. That's like my favorite thing. So I kind of like it, having that as my background. Mama, I've noticed some people reviewing decks and before they go through the cards, they, they put pill on their hands. Pill, what's pill? Oh, oil. Uh, I sometimes moisturize my hands because I know it's, I don't know, but not right before because then it, it gets on the cards as far as I'm concerned. And the room does look better. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget those 3.30 a.m. purchases. Oh my goodness. I know. I, I don't know. So those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook will see that literally 3.45 in the morning. Well, fr Thursday morning, Friday morning. Friday morning. Uh, yes. Yeah, I can post that. Message me after this and remind me. So, because by the time we're done, I might forget. Hi, Bob. Um, all right, I'm squirreling really bad, aren't I? Because what was I just saying? Oh, 3.45 in the morning. Friday morning at 3.45 in the morning. So Thursday, because Thursday I worked evenings which means I don't get out till 7.30. So then I was up late because I get home from work and I'm like, you know, you're wound up from work and you can't really go right to bed. And then it was 12.30. I didn't realize it was after midnight. And I'm like, oh shit. I have to go to bed because I have to get up in the morning. I miss you too, Ben. And I have to get up in the morning and go back to work. And it's 12.30 in the morning. Like, I have to go to bed. But then I look, you know, I go to set my alarm and it says I only have six hours to sleep. And I'm like, shit, all right. Well, I can't take my melatonin then because I'll be totally tired from melatonin because I won't get eight hours of sleep. So I can't do that. So I didn't take my melatonin. So I closed my eyes for a half an hour, 45 minutes and listened to the TV. And then I think I might actually have slept for an hour. And then at three o'clock in the morning, I woke up wide awake. And I could not sleep for shit. So then I was, I, I, I don't know, I was searching the internet. I was, I, I don't know what, but I don't really remember buying anything. I do remember looking for some stuff. But when I woke up in the morning, PayPal had notified me that I bought something. And I was like, oh my, and this has never happened to me. And I'm like, what did I buy? I bought something at 3.45 in the morning. <laughs> I had to go look and see what the heck I bought because <laughs> I really had no idea. That was a little scary. I was kind of like, okay, Jen, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. But yeah, not good. But um, it's a crystal t-shirt. Like it has something about crystals on it. You'll see it. I, I, told, um, I told Cass I'd wear it for Saturday. This coming up Saturday, a week from today, is the um, the next crystal show and sale with Cassie at Mystic Dragon Slayer. So sleep shopping, right? Terrible. So bad. Okay. Um, Mama Barry just walked by me and said, Mama Squirrel hasn't texted me in a while. Aww. I'll have to text him just so he feels better. <laughs> I'm trying to work with deities. I'm trying to connect with Ganesha. Gaia and the Far Realm. Oh, that's cool, Trevor. Let me know how you do. Sleep shopping is a bad thing. Can you be working with a deity when they all of a sudden stop working with you? Is that possible? Yes. Dragon Wings, sometimes, he's ridiculous. I'm totally texting him when I get off. Sometimes uh, a deity is with you for a short amount of time because they are supposed to teach you something specific. And when they have taught you that specific thing, they can sometimes get bored and go, okay, I'm done with you now. Without warning or it, it, it gets frustrating. You're like, hey, I now have this big altar for you and I've figured out all this stuff. Hi, Latricia. And, and you're just going to walk away now and like I bought a statue for you. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Nothing. Don't care. <laughs> they totally and completely can just like give up on you and be like yep I taught you what I needed and um, now I'm done with you <laughs> so that definitely can happen for sure 
Um, and Claire, I see your question. I thought I tried to answer you in Cass's live last night. Was it last night she was on at like 2 in the morning or something? But Claire, you're in, in Australia anyway, so you don't... It's not late for you. Hold on. Be, and uh, Shanghai. First of all, I will tell you, Shanghai is the stone that we picked to specifically um, do healing for Dana. It's a great, great healing stone. It's great for grounding. It is, but uh, for me, it's such a perfect, absolutely perfect healing stone that I don't really think about other properties. But it's a healing stone that can be um, that can be grounding too. So Shanghai, it, to me, is just like the perfect healing stone. And it has, for me, because I'm such a squirrel, it, it has the ability to focus my healing very good. So Shanghai is awesome. As a healer, I love, love, love to work with, with Shanghai. And like I said, we, Dana, for Dana's healing stuff, we specifically picked Shanghai to focus and um i always use shanghai in daily dana's healing grids and stuff because it's really good um yes great stone it has helped me heal mentally as well yes and shanghai absolutely will help you heal uh, mentally for sure yes waiting for my package from cassie so excited yay you ordered the universal celtic deck from barnes and noble yay I just said a similar thing to someone in Dragon's Den. <laughs> All right. Um, I owe them so much money. I, I am with you, Estelle. I have purposely tried not to go on their lives lately because I um, was waiting for my um, taxes to come in and I was going to give them all my taxes and like pay them off. And then my car needed $1,300 of work. So I had to borrow that money from my mother, which means when my taxes do come in, they're not going to be what they were supposed to be. Probably has a storage unit full of stuff from Cassie. I, I know, right? It's, it is not good. It is not good. All right. Let me start this unboxing. Um, this is the... It's Is this the listing? Yes. Okay. This is the listing for the actual deck. And I had... Um, I called, no, not called. Come on, Jen, get with it. I um, emailed the creator just before I came on and she did get back to me before I came on um, because it shows that there's none in the shop. And I was like, oh my gosh, does that mean, like I try to tell my squirrels where they can get it from. Does that mean you're not gonna have any in the shop anymore? And she is, I think she said this week, um, or next week, maybe hold on messages. Let me just check. So I don't tell you the wrong thing, but she is getting them back in stock. So it's not an out of print deck. Um, her name is Kat. She's very nice. Uh, probably have them back on Etsy later this week. So, you know, give it a week and hopefully do I prefer tarot or Oracle? That's too hard. I don't, I don't prefer either because um, I use them both for readings all the time. I always use a tarot and a oracle. Um, I think tarot is, for me, tarot is better at telling you exactly what the problem is and how to fix it. And oracle is, for me, better at kind of the feeling around the situation and clarifying you know, what kind of energy is behind this and that kind of thing. But I know a lot of people that work um, exclusively with Oracle. And I think Oracle is probably easier when you're starting out. Well, it depends on the person. It was easier for me because I was very intuitive um, to deal with Oracle. Um, but some people, it's easier for them to deal with tarot first. I was at the shop and held Shanghai and never felt that kind of energy. As soon as I held it between my hands, it felt like energy explode and suck that energy back and form like an energy ball. Claire, I would say that that is probably a stone that is um, like we all have certain stones that are super connected to us and match our energy so well 
that it's like one of our favorites. Like, you know, you guys know for me, blue fluorite, crazy lace agate. There's certain stones that for me work really well with my energy and we connect really well. And so if that happened to you, my guess is shungite is one of those stones for you. Hi, Amanda. Okay, so um, this is the Roots and Wings Oracle deck. How cute is that? Um, and again, I, I just have to mention, Simon, this is your fault because I totally, when he did his A to Z thing, he was talking, oh, how cute. Look at her cards. Oh, I love that. Um, when he did his A to Z thing, I love the roots. That's really cute. Uh, it, um, it totally, I was like, oh, this is going to be really a good deck for me too. And I decided I kind of had to have it. So I love that she talks about using recycled paper and stuff for packaging. And she still made it look super cute. That's just awesome. I love people who recycle their packaging. Yay. So good. Even her box is a recycled box. And you can buy her deck without a box too. Look at it. It's that recycled cardboard. I love that. Look at the roots on the feet. That's how I heal. When I teach healing, this is how I teach. That you're connecting to Mother Gaia's energy. And you should be growing roots out of your feet, which then connect with the roots that Mother Gaia brings up. And you connect. They kind of intertwine together so that you can pass that healing energy back and forth. I love that. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Amethyst. That's how you see it too, Amethyst? I totally, I, it, that was just, uh, and I was not taught there. I was not taught there. I was reading there and saying that. I was not taught that. That was something that I just felt intuitively. That's how my best healing work happened. Yes? Cool. So, oh my gosh, how cute is this? I'm going to love this deck. I'm going to love it. <gasps> Look at the inside of the box. Ah, that's so cute. You too, Amethyst. See? Now, that should tell you something, guys. When two healers, I'm afraid of going barefoot. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I cannot wait till the ground doesn't have snow in it so I can go barefoot again. When two healers who were not taught that intuitively feel that, then you know that that, you know, comes from the universe itself. Oh, I love this. So it's like a little fold out. So her little white book is a little fold out. Super cute. Shh. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. So you get, oh, it is rose petal finish. You're not late. This is the first card. Um, so that's just the um, the first card, and then there's a garden spread. Ah, oh, rose petal finish. Oh, feels so nice. What did we do without rose petal finish? The only problem I have with, and I'll be honest with you, the only problem I have with rose petal finish is it's uh, hard to shuffle the cards for me because they stick. Like, I feel like they're always sticking to each other. What, Barb? You need to scan all your paintings so you can make an oracle deck. That would be a great idea, Barb. Okay, wait. I need my glasses, guys. Duh. Hold on. One of the things I did when I cleaned this room is, look at This is all the, the tarot cards that I'm using for next week. And my glasses are in here. And my magnifying glass. Oh, and I found. Wait, where's my? Did I bring it up? Yes, what did I do with it? Oh, I found my magnifying glass, my good one. So I put them all in one little thing. Yay! So exciting. Okay. So <laughs> I'm getting organized. I'm getting there. I have, um, I'm bringing up all the stuff that, t that um, Pat and Shauna got me, like all the organizers and the, um, the calendars and stuff, so I can write in them. Hi, Pat! Okay, so then there's a little information card here. 
Oh, cute. It says, choose an area of your life that you desire some insight or growth. Perhaps you are looking for growth in creativity, work, a relationship, or your inner self. As you shuffle the cards, think on this, which is the seed. Draw and place the cards as shown in the garden spread card. Oh, so this explains the garden spread. Oh, I like it. <gasps> Did you see that? Look, wait, I know. Maybe you guys aren't understanding why this is so cool. Wait, maybe it's not working. <gasps> it kind of is, though. I think I fixed my focus. I think I fixed my focus. I looked it up online and asked why Samsung Galaxy focus is screwed up. And I did everything they said. And I think I might have fixed it. Oh, my God. It's only been months. <laughs> okay, sorry. Squirrel. I'm sorry. I'm squirreling. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Show that card again. Oh, this one. What a cute spread. Um, so it says draw and place the cards as shown on the garden spread card. The seed, this is at the heart of what you are wanting to grow. Perhaps the card shows the way to view and appreciate it, or perhaps it is a reminder for how to begin moving forward. Number two is the soil and roots. This card represents your foundation, what, are you, what you are building upon. Number three is the sun. This is the raw energy for your growth. Number four is the water. Like rain, this card refreshes and nourishes the journey for growth. What can provide relief along the way? Number five, the weeds. This is the card to show you a space where you should be conscious of how it could overtake your journey for growth. Oh, that's cool. This deck is meant to nourish both sides of your wild and your grounded spirit in order to lead you to finding a way to live in harmony with all the complex and beautiful desires of the heart, roots and wings. I love it. You have a Samsung Galaxy and you love yours? I totally loved mine until, I don't know, gosh, it's been forever. How long ago did my focus screw up? It seems like it's been six months, but I'm bad at time. So if this actually fixed it, I'm so excited. I like literally was thinking about getting a new phone because it was ticking me off. All right, here we go. So here's the backs of the cards. Hi, thank you, Sherry Bug. That's so sweet. You sweet girl. I love the unicorn. Oh, those backs are gorgeous. It definitely fixed it. I'm so excited it's fixed. I can't even tell you guys how much that has annoyed me in the last six months. I, I'm like dying. This is so cool. I'm so excited. I had to clear the caches of something. I wish there's a super a squirrel super sticker, right? It was Mercury. Yeah, but we're still in Mercury, right? Wait, what's today? Are we out of Mercury finally? <gasps> I'm having a hard time parting ways with my Horde and God painting. He's my first one. Well, Shauna, maybe you should keep it, honey. Here's the world card. This deck is going to be great. Today's the seventh. Ah, uh, it's close then. Yep. Yes. Thank you, Sherry Bug. I was going to say it's close. I think it's this week then. <gasps> the worker. Oh, I love that. The worker bee. All right. And the, the rose petal finish is awesome. Wish. I think we are still, oh, until the 12th goes direct on the 9th. It's this week coming up then. Oh, wildness. <gasps> wildness. Oh, I'm so glad Simon talked me into these cards. Vulnerability. Tomorrow is the full moon, I think, right? Because I took a picture of it when I went outside tonight. I was really ticked at my kids. <laughs> and I went outside and oh, it's so gorgeous tonight. Void. Oh, love this. This, oh, I really like this deck. 
Simon has said the voice. Uh, Simon has said that this is his favorite Oracle deck right now. And I can so see why. The quality of the card is amazing. The rose petal finish, which means the matte part, you can like show off the cards really well. Union. <gasps> I love it. They're simple but beautiful. Unfamiliar territory. Ah, oh, the fish out of water. Oh, I do too. These are gorgeous. Oh, see, I thought I fixed it. Oh, transformation. This card gets me every time. So I don't know what it is about people using the monarch butterfly as transformation. And I'll tell you, I'm not a butterflies and unicorns and rainbows person. I, I love them, but I'm a dark person. I really like my dark, creepy decks. I love them. But there's something about the transformation with the monarch butterfly that oh, is just stunning to me. My favorite Oracle deck definitely up until now was um, the Oracle. No. Um, the, um, the other one from Etsy. Darn it. Uh Hang on. Um, the one with the moons on it. I can't believe. It's like Oracle Vecos is one of my favorites. And then this one, which I'm thinking of. And I can't believe I can never remember the damn name of because I've had it for a long time now. It is I'm looking it up on Etsy. Hang on because it's so awesome. Although I shouldn't say it because it is out of print now. I keep hoping she's going to do another edition of it, though. Damn it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. You know me. I, I won't be able to stop until I see it. <laughs> nope. Oh, my goodness. How long ago did I get this deck? There it is. Earthly Souls and Spirits, 2017. Wow. The um the same kind of card is in Earthly Souls and Spirits. Oh, that's the Oracle one. Um, with the transformation being the Monarch Butterfly. That's what I meant. And that's my favorite card in that deck, too. So I wonder if that's going to be my favorite. <gasps> no. You know, oh, look at that card. Time. I adore that card. It's so simple, but really simply gorgeous, right? The Magician, ah, oh. yeah, they are gorgeous, super gorgeous. Ah, oh, the Divine, ah, oh, these are beautiful, yes. Oh, get some sleep, honey. I love you, Bob. Get some sleep. The uh, waterfalls for her hair. The, ah, I love them. The sun. Hi, Barb. Strength. Oh, look at that. These are so pretty. <gasps> Storm. Oh, I love it. The star. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. Spiritual guidance. I can totally see why Simon loves these. <gasps> seasons! And it's a spiral. Look at the seasons of growth. It's a wheel of the year. All right, that one might be my favorite. I want a painting of that. <gasps> she does paintings. I'm going to have to 
ask her if she does a painting of this one. That's my favorite. Oh, I love it. Rise. Mm. Wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Mm. Mm. Reminds me of Maya Angelou. Release. Love it. Hold on, I gotta get back to your comments because I can't see. <sighs> Think your dog is into the. Oh no, never mind, she's up here. <laughs> Potential. Oh, look at the root work and then all of that. It took all of that root work. Oh, this is an amazing card. So, this card, guys. This is when we talk about the intuition, intuition, the initiation class, all of this work and all of this research and all of this trial and error and all of this, um, you know, learning that we are doing and what you get from it is this potential, which is unlimited, unlimited potential, but you have to form that root work in order to feed what then people will see. That's uh, so what I see for this card is all of that, those feelers, all of those connections that we're learning to connect to. And then what happens is, oh, yes, the nourishment from the sun. Yes. Ah, oh, that's so great. Screenshot, Mama. Ah, oh, thank you, Shauna. Perseverance. Oh, look at the ball for perseverance. Good news. The piece of my thyroid that was left after surgery hasn't grown any. <gasps> Yay. Hasn't grown anything bad. Oh, Barb, that is amazing. I'm so glad. Time to celebrate. Okay, now I have a 70s song in my head. Celebrate good times. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Passage. Ah, uh, all right. I don't love rainbows usually. That's gorgeous though. Look at on the boat. Yes. I have five tumors on it. And now they're not there anymore. Yeah. Or on the part they took out. It is definitely a celebration. Wisdom. Of course he's wisdom. Look at him. Rainbow. Rainbow in the dark. Okay, I've got to stop singing. <laughs> Night. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, love it. Mystery. Oh, this deck is stunning. Mother. Dio. I'm in James Dio. Mother. I I have got to figure out. I keep trying to remember. Um, in August, I think it is. Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Poison, and Joan Jett are coming to Buffalo, which is close. And I'm like, we have to go. I'm so excited. The moon. <gasps> yes. Manifestation. Ah. Uh. Look at the hair for manifestation. Manifest what you need. Reach out to the universe. The universe wants to help you. The lovers. Beautiful. I love the eye. The eye and the sun there. I'm so excited my camera's focusing. Please keep going. Kindreds, kindred souls. Oh, these, all right. I, I adore this deck. This might be one of my new favorites. 
Simon was right. I adore it. It's gorgeous. Joy, lovers at the sunset. Yes, joy. Ah, joy. There'll be joy. There'll be joy in the morning. There'll be joy. They're all your favorites. I know. So bad. So bad. Journey. Mama has a new favorite. I know. I'm telling you, though, I, when you see all the Oracle decks that I have, and I, you're right, I do love all of my decks, but there are very specific. Oracle of Echoes has been a favorite for a long time. Um, Earthly Souls and Spirits has been a favorite since I got it in 2017. That's a long time now. They didn't all shine and your levels are good. Woohoo! Barb, it is so time to celebrate, honey. That is awesome. I'm so excited for you. Um, so, you know, I, I know I'm an enabler. I know. Um, speaking of which, here's where you can get them. They're going to restock in like a week. Limitation. Look at the mama bear. Um, but so I have had the same two favorite Oracle cards or Oracle decks for years now. I mean, I like other cards that come in. I, I for you know some cards for certain things are really good. I have decks that I I use for certain things like uh, Space Between the Notes, Elrond's deck. Um, I use his for um, path working, for journeying, astro travel, and um, when I want to connect music, I have to make a playlist of like all the music that he suggests for them. <gasps> This one might be my favorite now. Wait, but I really like the Wheel of the Year card. Ah, uh, inspiration. Look at all those connections for inspiration. Ah, oh, that's so gorgeous. But, um, you know, and I use different decks for different purposes. But I have a few that are like my go-to favorites waiting to get me a deck like Cass has the mystics and mediums <gasps> is that the one that was an independent deck oh that one kills me when she pulls that out it's a really good deck cdc is my favorite cdc or sdc sdc what's sdc i probably should know this Rob Zombie, Rolling Stones, Iggy Pop, Mortarhead, David Bowie, Hollywood Vampires. That's pretty eclectic, Johnny. I like all them. The next one is going to be your favorite. Shut up, Pat. <laughs> I still, the Wheel of the Year is still my favorite, though. Inner Vision. My granddaughter posted her last chorus concert today. Aw. Spirit Doodle Cards. Thank you, Whale Song. Yep. <laughs> Spirit Doodle Cards. You mean the one I was literally just talking about? <laughs> I, um, so Jackie, I grew up um, in chorus. I, I took chorus all throughout my school days. So I know a lot of choral songs. Humility. Oh, look at the sheep. You don't ever have a favorite one of anything. I know. I know it's going to add another $40 uh, for yes for New Zealand delivery. So this may have to be my major save up. <sighs> Hecate's Crossing. I was thinking about that. It's, you know, it's too bad. Now I know um, for England, um, Little Red Tarot tries to stock decks so that, you know, you guys in England hopefully don't have to, if you can convince her to stock a deck, you don't have to pay that kind of um, for shipping and stuff. Um they should do that in New Zealand. That would be a great business is to stock up on decks so that you only have to buy like a bulk shipping and then be able to ship it from there so people don't have to pay that kind of money for shipping. Hope. I did choir for like six to seven years in school, honest. But to be honest, I do not remember many of the songs. Really? I remember all of them. Like 
I don't know I remember them, but they will come out of me randomly. Like I'll be walking along and start singing a choir song from 20, well, oh my God, wait, how old am I? From 30, 40 years ago, 30, not that many, 30 something, 35 years ago. <laughs> I recently got the Divine Feminine Oracle. Do I have that one? It's, it's so lovely. I, Divine Feminine. I swear I must, that sounds too familiar. I was total band chorus geek. <laughs> uh, home. I'm saving and looking for a new Oracle deck. Too many to choose from, right? Define feminine. All right, hang on. I'm just going to Google divine feminine so I can see because it'll bug me now. Unless I know if I have it. Divine feminine Oracle. I'm feminine. Let's see. Oh, I don't have that one. I think I've looked at that a couple times, but I don't have that yet. The local store does buy mass market decks, but never seems to focus on indie. That's um, Little Red Tarot does that for England. Ooh, held. Aw, don't we all want to be held? I know, M.A., I do too. Technical theater for me. Bought it for my sister for Christmas in Yule. That's cool. Sacred Creators Oracle Deck, which is also by Chris Ann. Ah, I'm waiting for the Muse Tarot to come out, Amethyst. Um, he... Heel, heel, then heel. All right, what does that say? Is that healing without a G, or is that supposed to be something else? Ah, magic carpet ride. Healing. Hold on, let's see if there's a healing in here. Healer, healer. Ah, it's healer. Okay. That makes sense. I'm like, why would she spell one card wrong? <laughs> but I can say, all right, healer. I gotcha. <laughs> That's it. As a literature nerd, give me all the books, poets, writing. Oh, uh, yeah. I I love, you know, I love my W.V. Yeats for one thing. I love Edgar Allan Poe. I love Shakespeare, too. Guarded. I love my um, my Angelou. Grounded. Ah, oh, this is so good. It's not my favorite, but it's close. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to make an Edgar deck, right? There is an Edgar Allan Poe deck coming out. Uh, I don't think it's coming out till like August or September or something though. Yeah. Gratitude. I hope they do it right. Terrible addiction. I know it is. Gratitude. Reading Margaret Atwood right now, The Testaments. Oh, I would love to read that. I loved. The Handmaid's Tale is awesome. I just, I, I, that's on my list of stuff I have to read. Goodness. Healer like on the staff. Yes, yes, exactly. Too many decks and not a big enough wallet. I know. Almost a new favorite. <laughs> Good fortune. Yay. That brings me back to my Ireland roots. When you astral project, do you see the world or a different astral world? Because I heard people saying they have experienced one but not the other. I see both. It depends on where I go. Um, I can see this world. I have usually if it's this world, it's when I'm controlling it. If I uh, astral travel and I don't like specifically pick a place to go, then sometimes it's it's 
another world or another dimension or that's when you get into the Akashic records, you go to, um, you know, access the Akashic records. I would be really good at being a millionaire. Uh, right, Amethyst? Fire. That's awesome. I, I totally agree. Um, that I keep saying that I, if the universe would just let me prove what an awesome millionaire I would be and let me win the lottery, because I have so many plans. We're going to build our commune. We're going to, I'm going to let everybody live there. We're going to move everybody there. Everybody who's, you know, has their own thing will be good at something and they'll contribute that to the community. And we'll just all like meet in the great hall all the time and, um, and, and, teach each other what we know and how to spiritually connect and father the imagery is brilliant uh, oh yay i'm so happy hecate's crossing i i'm so i so want that to be great so i'm really happy which village that's right and i have to say i know i'm not saying very much about it a couple of you know but um we did go look at a property that just so perfect it's so perfect and i'm like i don't know if we're quite there yet so i haven't really put that out into the universe because i i don't think we're quite there to do um our credit and stuff is not great right now so i don't know if we can do that although frankie might help us but i'll be the village health coach that's right she's gonna be our personal trainer leland earth mother love it love it we have about 10 acres of farmland. That would be a good commune. Now, the one we went to go see was five and a half acres, which I think is, is big enough for now. I mean, we could always buy more land because there's more land around it. But it literally has a building for the shop, my witchy shop. It has a huge barn, which we are already calling the upstairs the Great Hall because it's this long hall, like this huge long barn. And we already are talking about the table that we would put this big huge viking long table down the center of it so that we could all sit and like watch or eat together and learn together and oh, it'd be awesome some places have a hall of records we would have a hall of skulls exactly if it was deemed a church it'd be tax-free book line us i'm looking into that because i'm you know we're we're poor people, let's be honest. So um, we've been looking on legal Zoom to figure out how to do that. But yes, yes, yes. Wiley Kylie, hi. I would love a pine cone room in the trees, even though I'm afraid of heights. Well, we could always bring the trees down to you. Duality. <sighs> Duality. How are you, Wiley Kylie? Drifting. I have an Edgar Allan Poe playing card deck. Each card is different. Ooh, that sounds like a good one. Mama Squirrel, when I get lots of money to move to Los Angeles. I know, Johnny. You got to play your guitar and stuff, right? Dreamer. Some may say I'm a dreamer. But I'm not the only one. Have you guys seen that movie about, um, what the it called? About the guy who, like, hits his head and he wakes up and the Beatles never existed. So he, like, starts singing all the Beatles songs and he becomes this famous guy because he knows all the Beatles songs and nobody else ever heard of them before. What the it called? It's so good. Like, I loved that movie. So good. Yesterday, yes. It's coming out on HBO, I think, tonight. And it is so good. Like, I, I adored that movie. Like, I love it. Highly, highly recommend it. Direction. It is hilarious. Because I... Shit happens because nobody ever heard of it. So, like, he's, he plays the Beatles songs, and they're like, oh, my God, how do you have access? You're brilliant. How do you have access to all these amazing songs, you know? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And and Ed Sheeran comes to help him with um, what song? 
and he tries to change the word to, oh, hey, Jude. He starts singing, hey, Jude. And Ed Sheeran's like, yeah, but here, let me make it better for you. Hey, dude. And he's like, see, that's so much better. And the guy's like, is it though? Really? And Ed Sheeran keeps going, yeah, it's way better. Let's, hey, dude. It's so good. <gasps> I love this car, Death. Oh, amazing. You guys, these cards are awesome. How many cards are there? 63. You guys, for an Oracle deck to have 63 cards, that's like double what most Oracle decks are. So I realize, how much did I pay for this deck? Um, so it was with shipping, it was $48. So I know that seems like a lot, but when you look at, oh, look at the fox. When you look at, yes, she is restocking. She thinks next week they will be in stock again. Most Oracle decks are like 30 cards. This is like double. So you're getting the size of almost a complete tarot deck. Community, look at. It was really Hey Julian by Paul. Ah. Uh, on her Etsy shop, there's a waiting list. Yes. And you can, she said she was going to send out to the newsletter about restocking. So if you sign up for her newsletter, then you'll get an email when she's um, she's restocked. <gasps> Breath. Breath. Oh, these are amazing. What an awesome deck. Bound. <gasps> How thick are the cards, would you say? I, I think they're good thickness. Now, they are bendy, but when you have the rose petal finish, I'll riffle shuffle them so you can tell a little bit. When you have that rose petal finish, it just makes them more quality. You know what I mean? Like they, you can tell that they're not going to wear very, very much. Um, they are really good quality. I wonder if she says what um, cardstock is. I like when people tell you what cardstock they put in there so you have an idea. It's good. Come on, open up. Come on, open. Open. Hang on. Is it gonna? Yeah, it's a really good card suck. I wish I could get this to open, but it's not opening for me. It's coated with something and it makes it um, a really good quality because of that. Blossom. Ah, oh, see, there's me with my bare feet. It has been on my wish list for about six months now. I need to find info on using the Oracle deck with the tarot. I just got it today, and the moment I picked it up, my whole energy changed. You just got this one today, Serana, too? Really? Yay! You and me must have picked up, like, the last couple decks. I just got mine today, too. Do any of these decks ever show up in thrift shops? Uh, I don't know, Miriam. I'm sure somewhere that happens eventually, because you know that there's a bunch of witches who are in the closet that, I hate to say it like this, but when they die... Um, their kids are like, what is all this shit? Why did she have all these decks? And they ship them off to the thrift shop and some witch gets to that thrift shop and goes, ah, <laughs> I have been deep in studying tarot. I just came out of the tarot closet at work. I work on commercial film shoots and have been doing readings for the crew. Yay, Wiley. That's awesome. I have Dana. I have found, I think a total of four or five decks at thrift shops. Now I go thrifting a lot. Um, and it's, so it's, you're talking over 10 years. It doesn't happen very often, like once every couple of years, but blind. Oh, that's a great card. Becca donates them. Does she really? That's awesome. Balance. Ah, balance. I'm never that lucky. 
Dana, you got to go to the thrift shops like every day. <laughs> Me too and bare feet. Uh, I cannot wait to take my shoes back off as soon as the snow is gone. <laughs> I found a great shocker deck at Marshall's. Only 20 bucks. Perfect. And last card is Abundance. My friend said she felt it is one of the best books she has ever read. Oh, shoot. You guys are talking about a book. Hold on. Sorry. What book? I'm totally lost. Shoot. I hate when I'm lost. <laughs> Which happens a whole lot. <laughs> Abundance is the last card, though. And so I'm telling you guys. All right. So I'm going to riffle shuffle. I don't know if you can. I know. I wish they didn't throw out witchcraft stuff to either. It pisses me off. Oh, psychic witch. <gasps> I hold on. Wait. You mean? Where's all my new books? Wait. Oh, I think it, that one might be downstairs. Shoot. I just got that book this week too. I have not opened the cover even yet, but I just got it this week too. All right. So ready? Listen for the riffle shuffle. Here we go. I wish I could show it to you, but oh my God, it's amazing. Did you hear it? Now, this is the problem that I have though. Oh, oh, oh. Because the rose petal finish, it doesn't go back together very well. <laughs> kind of hard to get them back together. Of course you did. Hold on. Ready? Here we go again. They, there's, uh, they, if you do it loosely and you don't try to bridge them or anything, they go back together. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pick one card for us. Ready? In that, oh shoot, you know what? I forgot I have this box that I've been meaning to open because I feel bad because I haven't opened it. I got a gift and I haven't opened it. So I might do this too. Okay. I just ordered Buckland's book, If Sex and Witchcraft, as if we had been here. That's a good book, Sherry Bug. Okay. Void. Void. So let me read what this says about it, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. An empty space can feel overwhelming and dark. This emptiness is a fantastic opportunity for possibility. Yep. Okay. So that's what I was going to say about it, basically. To me, the void means it's almost like the full card. It is the breath before you act. It's that, and now it's time to do something. It is that moment of a million possibilities. It is the, the right before, that second before you manifest what you need. So take that moment, that void of anything to think about everything that you're, you're trying to do. Think about manifesting the energy that you want and go forward. Just make sure you walk forward. Right? I love that too. Well now, well now, and went and bought a deck from my Etsy wish list while this one is out of stock. <laughs> oh, I have never done that before. All right, I'm going to open up my box really quickly. How are we doing? Oh, we're not even an hour yet. For me, this is a short video. <laughs> I have four other decks, too, but I'm not opening them all. All right, did open the card, which is so cute. Look at Hi, Jen. I'm so glad you can take the scully. Oh, I forgot. Someone was sending me a scully. Oh, I'm sorry. The little scully's been sitting in there for days all alone. I'm sorry. Um, And I'm even more glad that the decks is... On your wish list. Oh, I totally forgot about this. I I talked to so many people. And then I forget what I talked about. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. Um, This worked out perfectly. I've wanted to let you know how much I appreciated 
your generosity and the community you've created. Many thanks and blessed be Laura Lee. Ah, that's too sweet. I'm so excited. There is the scully in here someplace. All right, two books. Yay! Exploring Spellcraft, How to Create and Cast Effective, Effective, Effective Spells by Jarena Dunwich. Poor Scullies, I know, right? And Magical Symbols of Love and Romance. Ooh. And while I was cleaning today, I found my erotic tarot deck that I promised to unbox. So I will do that. We have, I love it, recycled. Um, so I will do uh, um, a an unboxing. Uh, that one, I'll be honest with you, th there's no way I'm doing that one live. Mm, I don't think. I don't know, unless you guys really want me to do it live. But I feel like I could get in trouble for doing it live. Did you find Austin's drawing? No. I know it's here. I feel its energy. <gasps> Look at the little sensor. He's so cute. The porno deck. It is. It is like really bad. So I don't know, think I should. Yeah. Yeah. We're not mature enough for you to do it live. That's so true. I'm glad you all know that. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at. Hold on. Copper. Copper, especially if Dana is on. Dana, Dana not being completely and totally um, um, mature, I never, I, Dana's always mature with me. Ah, oh, look at, so can you guys see the flowers on there? Hold on. Yeah, you can a little, the indents of the flowers. Beautiful. So you put the sensor on there so it doesn't burn. I'm so excited. This is the scully, I think. I feel him. Him. Her. Him. I think. Him. Oh, it is a him. Oh, he's beautiful. He's amatrine. Oh, my goodness. Look at, see the citrine in there? He's amatrine. <gasps> oh, he's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, he is super well carved. The detail on him is stunning. I don't know if you guys can see all of his detail, but wow, is he gorgeous. Oh, oh, he's great. I want the skull Scott and Cassie got in last night. The smoky one with the dragon on top, right? I know. It was so cute. Scully abuse, leave him in the box. I know. I'll have to take, he's going to definitely be in the council this week. I'll tell you because I'm going to have to make it up to him. That I've left him in the box for like two or three days. Or four. When did I get this package? Hold on. Where's the mailing thing? Uh, 221. And it says two day. Damn. It's been. It hasn't been that long. Maybe. Yeah. He's going to he's gonna definitely be in the council. Because I'm going to have to make it up to him. For sure. I'm putting them in my pocket right now so we can hang. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. That's right. I forgot. This deck has been on my wish list for a while. Um, This deck has been out for a long time, and it's just sat on my wish list. And I was kind of back and forth, and every time I see somebody pull a card from it, I'm like, oh, I really like it. Um, because now Kim Kranz did the, um, um, the one that everybody loves that I didn't forever. And now I'm kind of, eh, I'm a little better with it. Um, what the hell is it called? Shit. Come on, Leland. 
You and I feel the same way about this deck. Wild Unknown. Thank you. Yes. That. Um, and and again, I, I'm getting better with the deck, with the Wild Unknown. But I'm not, like, everybody just in love, was so in love with that deck. And I just was always like, and I got it. I've had it for years now. And I just was always like, eh, I didn't really connect to it. Um, but this deck, because it's Animal Spirits, I'm like, oh my goodness. I think this deck could be really good. But then I feel guilty because I don't use the tarot deck very much. So I I have never... Oh, look at the holographic box. Ooh, holograms on the box. Um, so I've never pulled the trigger on it um, because I felt bad. Oh, look at And the backs go with the wild unknown backs. They're just gray instead of um, black. Ooh, her packaging is really gorgeous. Look, elephant, hummingbird. See, I like the animals much better than her vulture, than her um, tarot deck for some reason. Fire ant. Oh, that's a good one. Scorpion. Lizard. I, you guys have all seen these cards. These have been out for a long time now, but, well, I don't know. It seems like a long time. Much better as an oracle than tarot. Yeah. Lamb. Aw, oh, the lamb. That would be a great card for Immel to put on your um, altar. <gasps> Firefly. But don't think I would like the round cards. What cards are round? Yeah, the elements with each animal. That is nice. Oh, the archetypes one. I gotcha. I have specifically not gotten the archetypes card either. And uh, who got them? I think Hexen maybe showed me the deck. Oh, I love the panther. Um, Because to me, if I was going to do an archetypes deck, if I was going to buy one, I really need to delve back in. I haven't done archetypes in forever. I really would want to be doing a study with the archetypes. And I have so much other shit going on. I don't have time to do that. You know? So then I would feel guilty because I wasn't. I bought a deck that I wasn't using at all. <gasps> hyena. I love the hyena. I love that there's a hyena card. Ooh, that is such a great statement card. Can you imagine if you pull that hyena and you're like, oh, what the hell am I doing wrong? Ooh, that energy should not be coming up for, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Owl, tarantula. I don't want to show every card, but actually, I'm really trying to get. To, oh, look at moth, the Luna moth. I'm really trying to get to one card in particular because Dana's here. I'm my shedding my oh bat. I love the bat. Come on, right and go, gazelle. Finish some of the projects you're already doing. See? I know. That's what I mean. That's why I'm like, no, I can't get that archetype deck. Crow. Beautiful. You better not. Peacock. Peacock. I love it. Wolf. Oh, wolf. You just said you feel guilty for buying a deck you aren't using. Yes, I would. I would be. I would feel bad for doing that. Come on, is it going to be like the last card? Here I am, and now Dana knows what it is. Spider! Yes, I exactly. And I find that too, all the time, Wiley, that sometimes I have a deck for two years, and I don't use it very much, and then all of a sudden, it's like, bam, I have to work with it. I couldn't help it, Dana. How many decks have that in there? I just had to at least show it to you. I'm going to do some octopus therapy with you, Dana. I think we're going to get an octopus. And I'm going to have you face your fears, and we're going to get through it together. Because I love the octopi so much, and you hate it so much, that we will even each other out. And you will love the octopi. She's like, fuck, no, you ain't doing that to me. <laughs> oh, I love you, girl. 
So oh, thank you so much, Lorelei. That is, and uh, the Scully is amazing. Amazing. I had no idea how gorgeous that Scully was. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm hoping, I don't know. It's been, I'll tell you guys, work has been a little difficult to keep my channel going the way I normally would with as many videos as I normally would. Sitting in a straight back chair with, oh, don't say that, Barb. She'll kill you. Oh, I'm not even repeating that one. Just scroll past that, Dana. Don't read Barb's comment. I know, Wiley. That's why I love him. Um, anyways, work has been so crazy that all the videos that I normally try to do at work, I haven't been able to do that. So I keep hoping that I will have some slower days that I can do some of my unboxings and stuff. I have, I literally have, well, I have four more decks that I could do unboxings on. I'm going to let Hexen do the Hush Tarot because he's had it and he's been meaning to do. And it, it that's a really pretty deck. Um, I have the Sigil Arcanum deck. Um, that is a very minimalist deck, but I like it a lot. This was a Kickstarter deck. How many decks do you have? Mm. Total like tarot and oracle? Uh, I, I bet you with both. 300 I I would guess that's a ballpark that's why she's poor that that's exactly right that's I don't do anything though I don't go out to eat I don't go to the movies I don't um I, I don't do my hair out you know like a hairdresser I don't do my nails I don't spend a lot on makeup all I get is eyeliner I don't drink. I don't smoke. I, so this is this is my thing, you know. Uh, I just got the Akamara deck. This is a gorgeous deck, gorgeous. Um, and I still have uh, the Akashic Realm Messengers. That I, I'm gonna have to do when initiation class is over. I'm gonna have to do a class on the Akashic Records. Um, and I share with everyone. Yes, I do. Uh, because uh, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the Akashic Records. And they that topic keeps coming up. Like everywhere I look, it's always around. So I can tell that the universe is telling me I need to do a study for everyone on the Akashic Records. It's such an interesting topic anyways. Um, and to... Um, I've been reading up. I've never taught anyone to um, access them, but I have been reading. Up. I've, I can do it myself, but I've never taught anyone. So I've been reading up on how to teach people to um, access the Akashic Records so that hopefully uh, I can teach you guys. Hopefully. I can spend $50 a week at the Roller Tree. Crafts are my weakness. See? And I don't do that. So... I don't smoke, drink. Exactly. So th that's what I do. I, I do decks. And that's that's my thing. I don't do makeup. I don't do none of that. So don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? Don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? Yeah. Uh, definitely the universe has been pushing me to do Akashic Records for sure. So I will have to do that. Um, yes. So initiation class, the next one is on Wednesday and I have been working on it since yesterday. I didn't work on it today because I've been doing this room. Um, but I'm kind of excited to move on from Pantheons, even though I, with, there's so much more information, but we're going to do it outside of the initiation class. Um, the next part of the initiation class, we're going to focus on elements, symbols, um, and it depends on how long that takes me. I'm going to start like altars and tools and that kind of thing. Um, and we'll see. Hi, Hexen. What time is it? Is it time for Hexen to be home already? Can't be. 8.30. Oh, not quite. 
What are the Akashic Records? Aha! See? There's a rat pussy under there, Dana. Don't worry. <laughs> I hope you're all happy. I'm too scared to get off my bed because I'm scared there's an octopus. Dana! I do not like octopus either. I, they are so super intelligent. But I, I love them. Uh, Akashic Records. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Like super quick. I will tell you that Akashic Records is like a big, huge filing cabinet in the universe that um, keeps track of every single happening in this plane, on other planes, in other times and other dimensions. So if you believe in the time-space continuum um, and in uh, other dimensions, like if there's, if you believe that on another timeline, there's another you doing different things than you're doing now, you, the Akashic Records will give you access to all of that. Um, and it's not just you. It is like all of the universe is um, everywhere and the, the secrets of the universe and how things work and how you connect to things. And there's an ability to learn anything you ever would want to know if you can gain access to the Akashic Records themselves. So basically, it's like the largest universal filing cabinet, you know, in the universe. And um, you have the ability to access that and pull records to learn from them. So it's super interesting and um, life altering when you uh, can learn to open those and, and, and learn, you know, what you need to learn from them. It's super interesting. Uh, so I will, I will be starting a study when initiation is done. I only have like 12,000 videos and sorry, I better live a whole long time in order to teach everything that I need to teach. <laughs> and if I don't, I was thinking this the other day, um, because, you know, you guys know that we, we lost Barb, uh, recently, one of our, our community members, um, Barb Wiley, um, Willie, we lost her suddenly without warning. She transitioned. Um, and you know, you, you wonder if that happens, there's so much more that I, I want to impart. Um, but for me, I know that now it's easier. I, I don't know how to explain this at death and dying. I'm supposed to be doing a talk on death and dying because of Brenda and because of a whole lot of things, um, which maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but I feel that it's easier for her to impart her knowledge now because she can just implant it. Uh, and you better believe that I will be haunting most of you. So just so you know, if you think, oh my God, is Mama Squirrel around? Why do I feel Mama Squirrel? Yep, it's me. I'm there. Don't worry. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not looking at you like doing weirdo stuff. That won't be me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I love you guys. Thank you for coming on um, and for joining me for my one of my unboxings that I needed to start doing. Bring it on. Um, but I will be imparting my wisdom to you long after I transition. That's what I'm trying to say. Just to creep you all out. <laughs> I always wonder. I'm gonna come back. Hold on. So, um, I always wonder, like, um, you guys know me so well. They don't. Two of my kids don't look at me like that because they don't pay attention to that part. No, no transition yet. I'm not going anywhere. Believe me. I have way too much to do. I don't think the universe would give me all this knowledge and want me to share it and then cut me off short. I mean, if it does, it's supposed to, but um, I, I don't, I'm not going anywhere. I got a while still. Believe me. Because they're kids. Yeah, I always wonder if I, when I go though, like my kids have no idea. I think... Well, at least they'll have these videos. I just wonder if they'll come back and watch any of these. They'll be like, oh my God, mom, do you have to drone on and on? <laughs> right? 
Make a boundary to avoid too much. Yeah. But don't you wonder, like, this is out in the universe now. We have the ability, technology-wise. They will watch you think. I, I don't know. That one in particular, I love him so much, but he's such an asshole. <laughs> but I think, yeah, right, he's going to be like, not that he won't miss me, but he's going to be like, yeah, I'm watching those stupid videos. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, by the way, just so you guys can see, I fixed it. If you guys saw, I opened up Fairy Wold's package and the little brooms were were broken off and I fixed it. It looks awesome. Isn't that the cutest damn thing? I got to find someplace cool to put it. It's awesome. All right. I'm going to let you go, guys, because I've been on way too damn long. I still have to do some of this room. I have to put away the rest of my tarot decks. That's what I have to do. I love you guys so much. I'm so glad you joined me. Press the like button before you go, guys, if you would. 36 in chat and 29 likes. Come on, get to it so that we can share this with others. Um, again, Roots and Wings, Oracle Deck. So yes, tomorrow is spring forward. Don't forget, if you're in the United States and you're, you are one that actually participates in the stupid time change shit, we lose an hour tomorrow. We have to spring ahead an hour so don't forget that all right i love you guys we'll see i'll try to do the um death and dying talk tomorrow see you later